Researchers around the globe are watching China's space program with keen interest. Professor Shinji Nakaya at Tokyo University is one such scientist, hoping China's Space Station Corporation program will accelerate space science research. Most of the research in this field is a collaboration. My field of research is also done in cooperation with institutions like NASA, the European Space Agency, and JAXA. But this research and experiments, such as microgravity, aircraft experiments in space, are quite costly. We use facilities available in each country. For Japan, the Kibo module on the International Space Station, or the microgravity facility facility in Germany. Space development programs in China is progressing fast. About half of the world's rocket launches are from China. Since China is putting so much energy and investment in space science and space development, making it available for international cooperation programs, I think it will open more doors for space science development. Professor Nakaya says the opportunity for experiments on board China's space station could increase in the future. I think in the future, projects like the ISS could gradually shrink, and what we have now in orbit may be scaled down from what we have now. Projects like the Artemis will be smaller than the ISS. And if you want to travel far into space, considering the costs, the size and weight, it will get smaller. We may also see a decrease in experiments on the ISS in the lower Earth orbit which means there is a chance that we rely on China's international cooperation program for future large-scale experiments. Space exploration is a costly and time-consuming project which requires ample funding. Many countries are struggling to secure a budget to continue research. China's ambitious investment in these space programs is a source of envy. Much of the joint research is fundamental research, and I think China is investing a considerable amount in fundamental research, including research in orbit. I'm afraid we're seeing a decrease in the budget for this research in Japan, so having a considerable budget invested in these programs is quite enviable. Tokyo University is working closely with China's Tsinghua University in microgravity combustion and flame instabilities affected by vortices and acoustic waves. Professor Nakaya hopes that this research bears fruit with International Research Corporation. Terence Shima, CGTN, Tokyo.